Thanks for watching these Rivage PM training videos. I'm sure you have learned a lot already as we explore all the scene memory features. Now we're going to look at the automation facilities where faders can move by themselves, scenes can recall at fixed times in a show, and other actions can be triggered. First, fade time. Normally, when recalling a scene, all parameters will instantly jump to their new position. But sometimes you may wish for the levels of certain channels to reach their destination more slowly. Then a fade time is useful. Enable fade by pressing here and then open the set window. Choose a fade time from 0.1 second up to 60 seconds and then select which channels it should apply to. All non-selected channels will reach their destination instantly. Press OK to close the window. After editing this, you don't need to store it into the scene. It's already done for you. And note, you can edit any scene in the list, so you can prepare in advance for a future faded recall. The GPI and playback link both allow scene recall to trigger another event. GPI stands for General Purpose Interface and will send a low voltage signal out of either the console or the DSP engine. It can be used to activate lights, video playback, automated scenery changes and other actions. Each console has eight ports available with a five volt supply. Open the GPI set window to select the ports to use. Touch once for trigger and once more for tally, which will keep the voltage change until the next scene is recalled. Playback link is used to trigger an audio file from an attached USB drive to start playing after the specified offset time, which can be up to 99 seconds. It can be used to start backing tracks or music beds, for example. Select any WAV or MP3 file found in the USB drive inserted in the recording port. But first, make sure the files are put in the folder YPE slash songs. Note this is not really designed for short theatrical sound effects which may require more accurate timing than the USB read buffer allows. Though it will sample rate convert for you in case your file is in a different format than the Rivage PM system. Now let's look at event list, which is helpful for automating a show. Particularly if time code is used to synchronize different lighting, video, and audio equipment. Each DSP engine has a timecode input, or you can generate it internally, which is handy for testing. The event list allows you to set scenes and libraries to recall at specific times. Or even if you're not using timecode, the event list is a handy way to reorder the songs within a show. There are two ways to build up an event list. The first is by using auto capture. Run the time code and recall the scenes in the correct order. Even if the times are wrong, they can be edited later. The second method is by manual insertion. Insert a new manual event, interval event, or time code event. Then select what the event is going to be. Maybe a scene recall or a library recall, perhaps a channel library or a plugin library, for example. Then, for an interval event, choose how long to wait after the previous event before this one is recalled automatically. Or for a timecode event, set the required time. Our advice for best practice would be to allow at least a 0.2 second gap between each event and don't place more than five events in any two-second period. 
Other than that, a show can have literally hundreds of events occurring both manually and automatically. If you were ever to experience a problem with the timecode source, you can switch a show to manual only with the button at the top left of the screen. If you have manual events you wish to reorder, use the up and down arrows on the right. It can be useful when a traveling show changes its set list from time to time. Previous and next event buttons can be assigned to the user defined keys at the front of the console for easy access. Do this in the setup menu and user defined keys. Rather than selecting the scene recall function, select event list and next previous or direct recall for a specific event. Then you can easily work your way through the list for each show. The scene field in the menu bar will always show the current event, the next event, the current time code and the countdown timer to the next event. So you can keep an eye on it throughout the show. It's taken some time to learn about the many scene memory features. I hope you found it useful and it should give you more confidence as you prepare for any future shows. In the next video, I will explain all about theater mode. It changes the way the scene memories are structured, allowing multiple actors to play different roles. And it's included in all Rivage PM systems. See you next time.